Hello, recently an AI influencer making tens of thousands of dollars for an Instagram post made huge headlines. So, if you want to know how to create ultra realistic images of such an influencer, make sure to watch this video till the end. So let's get started. For the image generation, we are going to keep it simple and use a free and online tool. Of course, there are various complex ways we can generate images, but we are not going down that rabbit hole because most of you watching this video wants the easiest way. First, head to the site called Tensor.art. Using this tool, we can use any AI models and also upload our custom models for absolutely free. For this video, I am going to use this AI model called Epic Realism to create images. So if you're new to AI art creation, let me go through some of the properties and steps you should keep in mind while creating AI images. First is the prompt itself. Prompts are the commands we are giving to the AI to generate what kind of images we need to create. So if you keep it simple and short, the AI would generate at an image with given instructions. But if you add more details to the prompt, it would generate a more detailed image with what you mentioned in the prompt. Second, you need to understand what is negative prompt. This is something you don't want to see in the image you want to create. Some of the common phrases are deformed, ugly, etc. But we can include whatever we wanted to and the characteristics we prefer not to see in the image. Next is something called the aspect ratio which determines the length and width of the image you are generating. This can be portrait, landscape, square or any custom aspect ratios. Next, sampling method. This is the algorithm used by the AI to create images. For this video, we are going to set it to DPM++ SDE. Next, we cover sampling steps. In simple terms, sampling steps are the number of iterations AI considers to make the final image. If you give a higher number, that means the AI model have to consider more refining processes and steps to create the final image. For this tool and this prompt, we are going to keep it at 30, which is fair enough to get a realistic photo. Next, CFD scale is the extent up to which your image should stick with your given prompt. Give something like 5 to 7 to get an image matching your prompt. If you give a bigger value, it would deviate from the given prompt. Finally, we have the seed, which is nothing but a random number. The number itself is not significant, but is used to create same or different images. So if you use a constant seed number, which can be any random number, when you generate for the second or third time, it will stick to the same characteristics or let's say same face. You can create different images by randomizing the scene. In our context, we would generate images with different seed values and once we get something we like, we would set that seed as constant to generate an Instagram influencer with same characteristics and same face. So let's start creating. You can create any prompts or copy an example from the description below to create an Instagram model. Make sure to put the sampling method as dpm++ sd, sampling steps at 30, CFD scale at 5, and a random seed number of your choice as seed. Keep generating images until you are satisfied with the results and a face you like. Then copy and save that seed number. Make sure to use that seed value if you are going to create more images for the same Instagram model. Once you are ok with the face, add more details to change pose or background. You can also change the lighting, look and feel of your image by adding or modifying your prompt. You can also add steps to the negative prompts for things you don't need to see, let's say a deformed face. You can also use this image to image feature where you can create images based on the image you upload. So if you want to create an image like Gal Gadot or John Cena or anyone, you can upload the real image then create images based off that. If you wanted to create a higher resolution image, you either can enable this higher res fix toggle and select accordingly. I would suggest to keep the higher res temp as 1. You can also see how the image would get bigger with this toggle. Just make sure to keep this toggle on while creating new images. But let's say you forgot to turn this on while you created the images or doesn't want to wait more time, don't worry. 
Download all the images you created, then upload your images to this site called upscale.media. Using this tool, you can increase the resolution of the created images up to 1500 into 1500 pixels, which is a huge value. Once that is done, you can directly post the images to Instagram. However, I would take things further and convert the images to a depth video and bring life into it. Also, Instagram algorithm prefers more GIF or video-like images than static images nowadays. To do this, go to the site called PlayerPix. Then, just upload your images one by one and then select how the animation or the image movement should look like. You can use basic movements like up and down, left and right or use the latest and my favorite movement which is perspective. You can see I used this tool in the previous video where I roasted Tim Cook for his latest iPhone 15. Make sure to check that video. I am now making another video where we can turn any image to wonderful movie videos using a free tool. So make sure to subscribe and like this video for the algorithm. Thank you and have a nice day.